Hi everyone, today we will be looking at how to clone Mac Drive with a free open source tool called CloneZilla, which is a Linux based cloning tool. We will be using my Mac Mini as a guinea pig and a brand new Samsung 870 Evo SSD drive. But before we dive into cloning, let's unbox and talk a little about Samsung's new 870 Evo. So without further ado, let's get started. This is my new Samsung eight seventy Evo. So nothing special about it. This is it. Let's open it. We need some tools for that. So let's cut it here. Like that. And inside the box, we get our hard drive which is metal data here on the back and some let's take a look probably user manuals yes user manuals that's pretty much it. What you get in the box for new A70 Evo. Why have I chosen this SSD and not some other model or manufacturer? I have made an online research. All true, this is a new product. You can already find some detailed tests and comparisons with other models and manufacturers. There are lots of models in this price range in Samsung's lineup as well as from other manufacturers. You have Samsung's own 860 EVO and 870 QVO, MX500 from Crucial, Western Digital Blue Series, just to name a few. We are in the era where we are approaching in the serial 883 data transfer limits even with low-cost SSD. So what separates this SSD from budget ones? It's faster than its predecessor and competitors. If I have to put it in numbers without making this into a long video, I can say it's, a, it's around 10% faster, depends by characteristic. So performance is similar to other manufacturers. What about the price? The Samsung SSD is not as cheap as you might think. At our well-known online retailer, you can get it from around 140 to 150 euros plus shipping costs. So we are talking about 145 to 155 euros or around 175 to 185 US dollars. Currently, you can get, and I'm talking for Europe, Crucial MX500, which is an older model but still very competitive performance-wise, for around 120 euros. Samsung 870 Cubo with lower performance using 4 bit MLC or Western Digital Blue series for 110 euros, or even previous version of Samsung SSD that's 860 Evo with performance slightly below the new one, but I'm pretty sure you won't notice any difference for around 130 euros, all being 1 terabyte. It's 870 EVO worth additional 20 plus bucks. In my opinion, 
and this is my personal opinion based on my online research and not my testing, no, it's not. For the average user doing some web browsing, office work and so on and on a budget. Then why did I buy it? Firstly, because I'm dealing with large files and video editing. Secondly, because I managed to find one in Austria for 129.99 euros and free shipping. So this was a no-brainer. Now let's carry on and see how we can clone your Mac with Clonezilla. So what we need? We need an old 2 gigs will be okay flash drive and we need to download an image file from Clonezilla homepage. Now let's plug this old flash drive into our USB on our Mac. Okay, here it is. Now let's open Disk Utility app and search for our USB flash drive. It is here. If it's not listed under your devices, then simply, simply go to View and show all devices. Now select your drive select erase you can name it whatever you want and select format as ms-dos xfat will work as well now select partition map and erase it Now it's done. To write the ESO file to USB flash drive, I'm going to use a free and open source application called Etcher. In Etcher, firstly, select the image you want to flash your USB with. So, this is Clonezilla live image and select it. Now we have to select our target drive. Our USB drive is listed here, all others are hidden. So, we need our flash USB drive to be selected and simply click flash. Now we have to input our password. Now, let's start our cloning process by restarting our Mac. On power on and the flash drive plugged in, we need to hold down option key to enter startup manager. Once in Startup Manager, select the USB drive, it has a yellow icon. Now we will boot into Clonezilla, which is actually a stripped down distro of Ubuntu in our case, but you can also download a Debian based one. Now we will select the boot option, I will stick with the default. There is also a possibility called to run, where instead of preparing a separate USB flash with Clonezilla, you simply run Clonezilla from new target drive and it will be overwritten in the process of cloning. So we will select the phone settings, let's boot up.
As on all Linux Live distros, we firstly have to select language and keyboard layout. Now let's start cloning with Clonezilla. Because I have both drives connected to the computer, old one, called source drive, is connected to serial ATA inside computer, and the new one, the target drive, connected to USB. So I will select device to device. Now we have to select the mode. I will be sticking with beginner because I will not change any advanced parameters. We have to define the way of cloning, in my case disk to local disk. Now we have to confirm source and target drives for cloning. Source firstly. So source is our old Samsung 840 series. And the target drive is USB external 1 terabyte. Now some additional settings before we can start. Repairing. I will not use this option, so I stick with the first choice. We can also select what the action when cloning is finished will be. I will choose to shut down because I have to change the drives. Now let's start cloning, but firstly we have to confirm this action. Now let me fast forward until cloning ends. The last thing we have to do is to resize the partition. The old partition was 250 gigs, also the partition on the new hard drive is 250 gigs. To be able to use the whole capacity of hard drive, that's 1 terabyte, we have to resize it. Let's run disk utility. Now we have our partition on our new drive 250 gigs and the capacity of the new hard drive is 1 terabyte. We select partition, partition, we simply select the free space and click on the minus sign. That will resize the partition to whole capacity, 1 terabyte. 
then we simply click apply and confirm it with partition. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like and hit that notification bell.